Hey yo, what's good my fellow savages man? Welcome back or to my channel. Y'all already know I got another banger for y'all here today. Now, this video is I guess it's a bit of self-awareness, but it's a bit of my LA lifestyle because I always think that's important to drop a couple videos about LA when I think about it, especially when I always see the random controversial is coming up about living in LA. And so today's video is gonna be something I do feel like it's really important because while it is tough to do, it is definitely possible. And a lot of times when y'all watching videos, because you may be planning on moving here, or maybe you live here now, and people always talk about how they can't make friends, how they can't get to know people. And honestly, a lot of times it's on them. And so I want to make sure as a person who has lived here now for, well, I just resigned my lease in May. So for two years and like, what, one month? And I signed my lease for another year, so I'll, I'll definitely, I mean, I, I plan on staying here, but I'll be going on my uh, third year now. I know a lot of people and so I just want to talk about how I got to this place because it was actually crazy sometimes where some people I meet had been here for like 10 years. They don't know a soul. They know like two people. And there's nothing also wrong with having like two friends. But in a city where if you come in here to become someone successful and you want to make it in the industry, you need connections. Y'all know what I'm saying? Like, don't, I'm actually telling you, if you don't know what I'm saying, I'm telling you, you need connections. You need to get to know people and you need to build a community. And so I'm going to go through some things to help y'all find friends once you move here to LA. So the first and most easiest method proven to make friends in LA is to join classes. You know what I'm saying? Now, I do want to acknowledge something really quick now I'm, as I'm going to shoot into this video. If you just move into LA just to do it and you don't have any aspiration to become a creative in any type of way, what I mean by creative is whether it's social media, whether it's acting, whether it's modeling, whether it's music, whether it's dancing, then I, you can probably choose some of this, but it's definitely going to be a little bit more difficult. I am going to acknowledge that, or you'll have to just link up with more LA natives. Um, and not as many transplants, because most transplants here, which we're gonna probably go 50-50, is here trying to pursue something. So now, all right, let's get back into it. So the easiest proven way is to join classes, right? Based on whichever field you are planning on getting in. So for me, with acting class, so naturally there's dancing classes, there's music. I mean, we could go down the list, you got Pilates if you work out and different things like that. But with me and just acting classes alone, I meet people all the time. And why is it important for classes to be number one? It is because you are automatically meeting people like-minded just like you. You know what I mean? Like if you definitely want to become an actor and then you're in acting class and you're usually with these people for at least a month, and if you keep signing up, you keep running into them or you keep running into new people over and over, y'all are naturally, you already have that connection that you wanna be actors. And then you can just be like, hey, can I get your Instagram? Can I get your information? And now you all are able to stay in contact. Now there's more layers there, which I'm gonna get to as the video is progressing, but that's just the first simple proven way is just join a class. Um, you're gonna be able to be around people that, that are like-minded like you, that do the same things you do, and y'all just naturally flow into that cohesion. And a lot of times, once you start talking to somebody, they'll even start acknowledging to you that they don't really know that many people, and so it's just easier to click, right? But we, we're gonna dive a little bit more into that in a little bit. Now, the second proven method is to drop your damn ego and entitlement, okay? What that means is, a lot of times, most people that move here to LA feel like they were the ish in whatever city they were living in and they are so self-absorbed into themselves and they just feel like they're the coolest kid on the block and different things like that y'all know what i'm talking about but remember plenty of people moved here that was exactly in the same situation as you and feel the exact same way about themselves y'all know what i mean like i'm telling y'all this i want to acknowledge this right now i have traveled a lot in my life okay and after living in LA for two years straight, I have done some traveling recently and I wanna respectfully say this. The people in LA are way more attractive than probably anywhere else in the world. I just, I wanna truly acknowledge, I'm not saying that everyone is just top, 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 but when we talk about average, yo, the attraction level here is much higher than other places. Like it was actually shocking when I went someplace, I was like, yo, I don't even know if I could date here because the options just are like, nah like i'd rather go back to la and meet people you know what i'm saying so i want to just definitely state that that 
it's okay for you to have some type of ego or some like to you but you need to drop it to be able to meet people because if you walk around feeling like no one is as cool as you or no one is as creative as you and you always got to be the biggest fish in the pond then you're going to find yourself isolated because a lot of people don't want to be around that you know what i mean and so you will meet a bunch of people who are attractive who are creative who are smart who are deep thinkers who don't have an ego but they got an ego but it's not in the way of thinking that they're better than you and so their, their, their arms are open to connect but a lot of times the, the people with egos that move here feel like well i mean i met you i gave you my info so i mean you hit me up you know who i am you see what i look like you know what i mean and, and there's so many people here like that Jai. i've even watched videos online of people being like how they never make friends i just listen to them talk and how they act and i'm like oh i know why because you walk around so self-absorbed that no one wants to be around you and, and and other people watching would be like oh my god this really attractive person came find friends yeah because there's plenty of attractive people and no one wants to be around an asshole all the time, especially not in LA, especially doing this grind of trying to be successful. You know what I mean? So that'd be my next note. Drop the damn ego and entitlement. The third point I would make is to take initiative and embrace rejection. So this kind of falls back into my first point of like, you go to class, right? And then you do meet somebody that's super dope. Okay? So now y'all have exchanged info. Reach out to them. Ask them if they want to do something. Ask them if they want to kick it. Like, and sometimes people are going to be like, no. Or people are just going to be like, oh, I'm not sure. Or they need time to get comfortable with you. I mean, I can tell you all for myself. I was meeting people in acting class, right? And I'd be like, hey, I'm down to hang out. Um, would you like to go to brunch? Would you just like to do something fun? And some people were like, yeah. And then some people were like, no. And then some people also just wanted to take some time to get to know me and then they finally wanted to hang out, right? Because we're all different. Because I'm the type of person that could meet someone and then I understand, of course, this is self-aware savage, that there's no such thing as no one not having time. You just make time for what you want. And then I would instantly plan to see a person. That's just who I am. I can make time to see you. I'm not so busy that I don't have any freedom. And that's even when I'm locked in on all my goals. And so, but not everybody does operate like that because there are like introverted people that move here as well that just, they, they, they struggle leaving their bubble. And I will admit introverts struggle here a lot. I just want to acknowledge that. Um, but you know and so you you sometimes just also got to navigate that but usually social media will take care of that because if a person's just watching you on instagram and then they seeing all the things you're doing and working on then they find like okay you know i definitely would like to kick it with this person they seem super funny and some people are just like hell yeah i'm down you know what i mean and so you definitely got to take that initiative and be okay also with people just being like no you know and and that's just normal you should also get used to it now because if you're chasing anything in the industry y'all should already know especially if you're trying to act dance and any that you're gonna get a lot of no's before you get yeses so you might as well embrace it trying to build a community my fourth piece of advice is to create something for myself as you all know i am doing social media i am doing content this is something i'm really trying to work on and build up and so another thing that i did was i wanted to start a podcast because i noticed i would be having these deep highly intellectual conversations with people and i was like oh my gosh we can have self-awareness conversations it also helped me with my content are you down to come on my podcast and remember i'm just getting kick started off i'm no big time podcaster yet or any of those things but people are just down and they're like yeah i'd love to come chat with you i'd love to talk and you would be shocked at how many people have never just in general had the opportunity to tell their story or express themselves and so now they've sat there and opened up with you you asking all the right questions you you they, they're like oh my god i'm so comfortable and now just like that y'all have just built a deeper connection there's so many people that have come on my podcast and now we're really close down and we hang out and we go do stuff and everything like that and so just another way and i'm just using that as my example but maybe you're a person who's going to start shooting skits right and then just like that you're like hey would you like to come on my skits would you like to do this and now people you're just going to naturally connect with people people are going to become a part of your community and so i would just say creating something as well maybe you want to create like a, a gym group or a pilates group or an art club or I can, I can keep going but y'all get or, or join a tennis like and then make that a thing it's like create something invite people that are like-minded or want to do the same thing and believe me that is a very 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 easy way to make friends as well because people aren't as busy as they may come off that be in la now my fifth piece of advice and this one was actually tough for me so i want to acknowledge it it is to embrace the la lifestyle and i'll start it from a simple place right here 
one thing is not that many people here working nine to five. Some people do, but like a lot of people don't. I just happen to be, you know, as a lot of you all know, I work in tech still. Um, so I do work, I actually work eight to four and then I'm free after that. Um, but a lot of people that aren't, that isn't their schedule. And so you could be meeting people and they want to hang out, but they want to hang out during times that you work and you're like, damn, well, I'm only free. Like, and if you're doing like acting classes and other things that you aren't even free that many days, that's how my schedule is. Like I'm really only free. Like right now, maybe three days a week where I can actually make time to spend with people. And so for me, something I had to learn to do is before I wouldn't hang out with anyone in the evenings because I wake up at 4 30 to work out in the morning because I like working out before work. But this person's free Monday at five o'clock and it's either hang out with them now where they're telling you a time that does work for you, but it's just not 100% convenient or don't hang out with them at all. And for a long time, I chose to just not hang out with them at all because I felt like they weren't understanding of my schedule. But no, I wasn't understanding of the LA lifestyle. And so I've adjusted my thought process and just how I move with things. And now it's been smooth sailing. Is it always convenient? No but you also don't want to be alone we as humans we need connection and we want to be able to do those things and so one and another thing i just keep going through some of the la lifestyle that's just the nine to five i also meet a lot of people that come here like from europe and they have their own thought process about life and they're always talking about how people in la are and how they think and how they do this but they would prefer this i'm like well you're not in your country anymore you're in la and so you have to just learn how people think and do things and operate and then like change yourself and accustom yourself to it if you want to thrive here and so that's one of the big things i would just share and i just use those two examples but you're going to notice when you get here oh another thing that people do a lot of people just say yes to everything even if they don't mean it but you'll just start to learn and understand that is just the lifestyle here and i know some people are like but yeah that's why people flaky that's what we was talking about but like when you get used to it, you also just understand that no one even a lot of times means harm. They're, that's just how they how they do things. You know what I mean? And so that's just one of the things I would just tell you is when you get here, learn this LA lifestyle, embrace it, and watch how many more people you get it you're able to connect with because you'll be able to like just move on this same frequency here. And for my last piece of advice, and I believe this is the most important, is to understand people's circumstances. Okay, listen. If you look at people's pages that live in LA, a lot of things are gonna look glamorous. Why? Because marketability out here is important. And so the better you look like you are doing on social media, the more opportunities that you get, which is why attention is such a high currency in the world, right? And why everyone's faking the funk until they make it. But when you actually get to know people, a lot of people aren't doing it as good as things look. And so with that being said, you could end up meeting a person, this has happened to me by the way, and y'all are having like deep, great, crazy, fun conversations. And then you're like, yo, let's hang out, let's go do this, let's go do this. And they keep flaking or they're not hanging out with you. And you're like confused, like, damn, I, I thought we like vibe and we connect and everything. But the truth is, man, they don't even know how they are gonna pay rent next month. And one of the great things I feel like about me is because I have these deep conversations so I'm super understanding and I, it just that's just my personality and like how i operate in general i mean i am the self-aware savage I understand that and so another thing you got to recognize is everything can't be about money here if the only way you're gonna hang out with people is if you're expecting them to spend money then you probably unless you find that just a fluent group like yourself you're probably gonna struggle as well to find friends because most people here are down to just do free ish they down to just come over the spot they down to just go to the beach they down to just go on a hike they down to just grab tea or coffee something that's cheap and again a lot of this stuff you might look online but no they want to go to the fanciest brunches they want to do this thing. a lot of those times it's the person that actually got money that's paying for it or because they don't want to look like they broke they swiping credit cards to putting themselves in like debt to and pay, trying to pay back interest that they can't even afford and so y'all get my point so i would just say you need to recognize that that is the lifestyle here to market yourself a certain way, but that's not everybody's true reality. And so as you get to know people, you need to just consider that as well when you're getting to know them. All right. So I hope I was able to help y'all out, man. I feel like I gave y'all some great advice because if I saw this video before I moved here, I feel like it would have helped me out a lot. Cause I'm not going to lie to y'all. It took me like probably man honestly probably like my first year to just figure this out i was so confused on why things was like so odd or like meeting people was so weird and it was just like yo what is going on here like i'm we just don't make sense and so luckily i learned these things so i want to be able to share that advice with you all is it an easy thing 
Uh, I would say yes. If you are open to change, you're willing to just embrace the lifestyle that you're walking into. All right. So, man, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, join my savage community and get this self-awareness up. And I shall see y'all at the top.